Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next to In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of Euro, Dollar, Euro, USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So my dear friends, we saw some correction on the chart of Euro, Dollar and Euro, USD right now standing at 1.0491. Overall, if you look at a chart of Euro USD, then we can clearly see that market is an uptrend right now. There is no doubt. But if we move to the higher time frame, let's say if we move to a weekly time frame, and if I remove the drawings here, then you can see the market is somehow struggling right now to cross the 50 moving average. The 50 moving average is a dynamic uh, resistance here. And we can see a good amount of price rejection from above. And if we move to the daily time frame here then we can see that low market is uh, showing recovery for the last couple of days and weeks but somewhere down the line market is losing the stream not stream steam <laughs> market is losing the strength so we are back to our beloved four hours time frame of euro dollar but before i proceed with the chart of euro dollar i would love to uh, i would like to talk about dxy yesterday we saw good recovery on the chart of dxy before we saw that dxy was continuously uh, going towards uh, the downside okay there was no proper support but we saw we saw a uh, dxy right now okay <clears throat> going up and right now standing at a very critical uh, level 105.30 and the main reason was u.s services industry regains steam factory orders accelerate okay service industry activity picks up in november employment rebounds factory orders increase by one percent you can see here u.s services industry activity unexpectedly mind over unexpectedly picked up in november with employment rebounding this was the main reason we saw a big green candle on dxy and as you can see the dxy is standing at the previous support and trying its best to go up so to regain the lost territory, okay, DXY will have to break this particular level here and it will have to uh, hit this level. So 105.50 will be an important level for DXY. If it crosses 105.50, then we can consider it, okay, bulls are back again on DXY and they will be trying to take the market up. And 107 will be the next resistance. But as of now, as of now, DXY is standing at a critical level. Let's wait and watch how the market performs during the European session and US session. Because either it may go up, it may go down. We can't say that. But it looks like that the buyers in the market do not want to surrender. Because after standing at resistance, you can see that the, for the last uh, 10 to uh, 10, 12 hours, okay. No market is standing at resistance, but the buyers in the market do not want to surrender. So overall, in this bearish market, the sentiment somewhere still looks bullish. Let's wait and watch. Okay. Now let's uh, go back to the chart of Euro Dollar. As I said, that uh, on the daily time frame, we could see that somewhere down the line, uh, it is losing the steam. Okay, so as a result, though market is standing at the support we talked in our previous video, but I think that there is a possibility market may go down because after all if we just try to analyze the structure of euro usd then we can see that market is forming higher highs okay so as a result market is okay market still has a distance to cover market needs to come down to take support and bounce again so i think that there is a possibility that market may uh, break the present support of 1.0480 1.0500 and come down so if market comes down then the trend line the trend line which is also acting as a dynamic support will come for the rescue i think the trend line should be acting as a dynamic support but be careful after all this is market yesterday okay we got a shock on the chart of coal and sls were hit fine too <laughs> so observe the market around the trend line if you see market taking support at the trend line if you see market bouncing market forming hammer pattern bullish engulfing pattern you can go for a buy position at the trend line 
and as this is a dynamic resistance we do not have the exact figure but it will be around 1.0400 around this level only and in case market breaks the trend line do not take any sell position because overall we can see the structure of the market still looks very much bullish so you can expect the next buy position around 1.03 Five zero around this level you can expect the next buy position on the chart of euro usd so the first support is the trend line which is the dynamic support and secondly we have fibonacci 38.2 percent plus previous price rejection around 1.0350 1 1.03411 okay but though market is uh, standing at the previous resistance which is the new support right now but still i think that market may come down too but if you're already holding a buy position if you have taken a buy position no need to exit be on the trade okay you don't need to exit, be on the trade because um, there's also a minus support around 1.0450 as well and for a proper breakout okay for a proper breakout on the chart of core or if you are a swing trader listen to me carefully if you're a swing trader then please wait for euro usd to break 1.0600 1.0600 wait for euro usd to cross this level because if euro usd crosses this level then it will cro also cross the 50 moving average that is also creating a problem on the weekly time frame so once it crosses this level then we will get the confirmation that on the higher time frame also euro usd is bullish and as a result you can go for a trade for swing trading or positional trade as well but as of now swing traders okay you should wait for some time and day traders also okay i think that you should wait and watch for the market to come down to the support level here okay. and this is it hopefully you have understood <laughs> if you look at the forex sentiment meter here then here is our beloved euro USD. we can see that the retail traders are also confused right now we can see 54 percent have taken short position and 45 percent have taken long position usually we see market moving against the forex sentiment meter and you know uh, in case of euro usd retail traders are confused right now in which direction the market may move so <laughs> so we have nothing from the forex sentiment meter so um keep in mind that uh market is standing do it is standing in a uh, support but not a very certain level please be careful and please follow proper risk management this is my analysis i can be wrong as well no trader is 100 percent accurate so please be careful bye bye take care